Hello everyone. Welcome to the Kids for Chemistry. Today we have we have a very special guest, Mary Williams. Miss Williams is the director of the outreach and recruitment for the United Negro College Fund. Miss Williams has received numerous awards for her service, including the SCLC Scholar in Education Legacy Award in 2013 and the Educational Professional of the Year in 2014 at the Women of God Reign Award Show. She received the President's Lifetime Achievement Award from President Barack Obama, and most recently was a special honoree for an Evening of Black History sponsored by Dr. Stacy Robertson. And she and her son, Kenny Williams, a graduate of Morehouse College, were featured in an article focused on college readiness in the April 2013 issue of Essence Magazine. Remember, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. So Ms. Williams, can you, could you tell us the history of the United Negro College Fund? Absolutely. UNCF has been around for over 76 years and is second only to the federal government in providing scholarships to students of color. UNCF administers over 400 scholarships, internships, and fellowships every single year on an annual basis. And we support 10,000 students going to and through college every year. In addition, we award $100 million in scholarships. Now, when you become a senior in high school and go through college, you wanna be in that number as well. To help you understand the role of UNCF, I have a video for you to watch. Okay, let's watch the video. For more than 75 years, UNCF, the United Negro College Fund has worked to combat deep-rooted obstacles to higher educational access, achievement, and career success, annually providing financial and educational support to our 37-member historically Black colleges and universities and more than 60,000 students attending over 1,100 institutions across the United States. Your support as a workplace campaign donor is critical to our efforts. Employee donations like yours are the second largest source of unrestricted dollars for our students, allowing us to provide funds for tuition, room and board, books in unexpected emergencies, emergencies like the current COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you, UNCF. Thank you, UNCF. Thank you so much to UNCF for all of the opportunities that you guys have brought into my life. Yeah, I'm now able to apply knowledge to innovation, economics, and entrepreneurship. I'm so happy that I went to an HBCU and got connected with you all because it really has progressed me as a person. So, whether you decide to help by giving once or often, know that your support truly makes a difference. Talented, deserving students come from all walks of life. One of life's great equalizers is that at some point, we all need help. And given what we're all facing right now, one of these promising students may just be the next doctor, nurse, teacher, or technologist who changes your life tomorrow. Please give what you can. UNCF, our HBCUs, and our students appreciate you and your donation, no matter how big or small. Thanks, and always remember that a mind is a terrible thing to waste. That was a very interesting video. This is Williams. How can Kids for Chemistry program help you and UNCF? Well, I understand that you have developed a patented drawing that makes it easier for young children to understand chemistry. That is a big help to UNCF because your program is helping more students become interested in STEM. Through UNCF, high school students and college students can apply for scholarships and college students can apply for paid internships as well in the STEM field. Ms. Williams, we have a game called Kids for Chemistry the Game. Would you like to learn how to play it? Yes, I would. Great. 
Let's show you how to use the main game board. But we are going to let Gerald, Awa, Justin, and Maki explain how to play. Great. I wanted to meet them. Okay, Mrs. Williams. We're going to teach you a little bit about the game. Not everything, just enough to get you started. What you are looking at is the main board, the dice, and the random number generator, and the wheel of chemistry. To start playing the game, you roll the dice. Let's say you roll a six. Then you move six places from start, and you will land on block E, which has an atom in it. Gee, the atom in that block is very small. I can't see it clearly. But if you click on it, the atom will appear in the center of the board. And now you can see it much better. And now you have to identify what the atom is. That's right, Maki. Do you want to identify what atom this is for us? Sure. It has two red circles, which are the s orbitals. Look on the sidebar of the periodic table for two red circles. This means the atom is in the second row. And the outermost orbital are p orbitals. And they are five electrons in the outermost p orbitals. Look for the icon on the bottom bar of the periodic table that shows p orbitals with five electrons. Therefore, the atom is in the seventh column. If the atom is in the second row in the seventh column, then the atom must be F, which stands for fluorine. If you click on the atom, it will tell you if you are correct. The periodic table will show you which row and which column the atom is in. It shows two red circles next to the second row, and it shows the icon for p orbitals with five electrons. This is the seventh column. Yay! We were right! So, Mrs. Williams, if you identified the atom correctly, then you get to pick a card, which has a question on it. And if you answer the question correctly, then you win money! Is it real money? No, it's not real money. But it's still fun to win money. Whoever wins the most amount of money wins the game. So we pick a card using the random number generator. Let's say we pick card six. What are the three particles that atoms are made of? I know, I know. Protons, neutrons, and electrons. That's right, Maki. And you win money. Yay! So, Mrs. Williams, that is how you learn how to play the Kids for Chemistry game. There is more to the game, but we will show you the rest another time. Well, Mrs. Williams, do you want to try the game? Yes, I do. But just the first part where I have to identify the atoms. Here's identify the atom. Miss Williams, can you identify what this atom is? Okay, let me try to figure this out. There are three circles, so that means three S orbitals. That's the third row. And let's see, on the outer S orbital, there's one electron. So that must mean it's sodium. Is sodium the answer? Yes! Sorry, I got so excited I got it right. Wow, that was easy to learn. I have to give you guys a lot of credit. This is a great way to learn chemistry. So we thank you for helping your peers learn about chemistry and become interested in the STEM field. There are many job opportunities available in the STEM field and they pay well. This program is one of the ways to help students become interested in STEM. And when they are ready to start college, they can go to uncf.org and apply for scholarships. And throughout college, they can apply for scholarships and paid internships.
Ms. Williams, thank you for being a guest on our show. It was a pleasure having you. And it was a pleasure meeting all of you. Remember, a mind is a terrible thing to waste, but a wonderful thing to invest in. And remember, everybody, a mind is a terrible thing to waste.